Yo guys, it's Chris Benny back in the video today. I will be reacting to the new episode, a new episode of uh, Riverdale season four. I've watched that from season one all the way to season four. It's my favorite show of all time on Netflix. You maybe one of them, you maybe want to watch Netflix. Um, yeah, before I get started, hit like and subscribe, hit the bell so you can never ever download. And also, just before I start, I just want to say R.I.P. to Luke Perry, Fred Andrews in Riverdale. Which was an iconic character within Riverdale. Also, in Man of the Tournament, but mainly Riverdale. It's literally unbelievable. It's like RP. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, okay. Let's yeah, get into it. Also, I'm going to be reviewing uh, this episode and telling you guys how I feel about it. Yeah, let's, let's get into it. Obviously, I was told this is the last season of. Uh, with Adele, and obviously they've only gone off to, uh, off to their own separate way. When I uh, pulled up uh, Netflix, I saw seven episodes, and I was just like, they can't be ending with Adele on seven episodes. But I got told the mail coming out, I was so relieved that you have no idea. Literally. I like how they've pieced the story of uh, the death of uh, Luke Perry, Fred Andrews, and Riverdale, and they brought it into this scenario and where he was he pulled over and helped was helping someone, and he got hit in the process. Like, he was, I like the idea, but he was always seen as someone that helped and liked, liked to help, and willing to help anyone in, in the town of Riverdale. And, because he was one of my favorite characters. Like, it was that guy you wanted to be. You wanted to be that guy. You wanted to be that guy. Like, he was willing to help anyone. He dwelt on most of Riverdale. He built, he built most of Riverdale. Like. There will be an additional cost of $9,000. Whatever needs to be done. However much it costs. That right there, I respect. Like, like is a real one. The girl was willing to, like, obviously, Hermione and uh, Hiram Lodge, they're rich, but like, she's willing to put 9k of her own money to give it to Archie. There was a father daughter potato sack race. Uh, my dad, I don't know where he was, but Mr. Andrews said that he would do it with me. That's, that's sweet, that's, that's cute. See, shit, stuff like that. What a guy. Like, if people have so much good to say about you, like, this, this is amazing, like. To people talking so highly of him, so good, good of him, it's like, what more can you ask for? What more can you ask for, like? That's just me. So he was, he was my dad for the day. Whereas nowadays in the modern world, like, we take each other for, for granted, like, we take life for granted, we take people for granted way too much, like, when people are here, we, we don't appreciate their presence, like, when they're gone, it's like, it hits you, you're like, shit, I should have, like, done this with them, I should have done that with them, like, if you're here, everyone's talking so high of you, he, he helped each one. A little message like so, you gotta like look after that you, can, you gotta look after you gotta like be happy so, 
victory, like, you know, I just think it's too, too, like, I don't even know what to say, like, just appreciate he have by you in his moral time, no matter who he is, your friends, your family, just stay close to them, just enjoy yourself, just do stuff with them, like, you take each other pride, you take each other pride so much now, like, it's unbelievable. I don't think I'm ready for what's about to happen in that future. He rules down his, his granddad, who's, who's nah, not there anymore. He's just chilling there. He's like, come with me, I've got to show you something. Like, nah, I don't know what you're doing. Mm, what? Nah, that's, that's so strange. What, what's everyone doing? Just, it's just sitting here around the table. Nah, I, I clearly was not ready for this. <laughs> what? Nah, that's this has to be a nightmare. Where's Dad? Archie, you were supposed to get him. Imagine if the guy just passed away and you're just chilling your bed and walk down, you see your granddad, who's not supposed to be there anymore, and you just walk into your living room and everyone's chilling, staring straight at you, and your granddad's like, you were supposed to, you were supposed to get him, you were supposed to save him, like, come on. Jeez. I mean, I would be scared shitless if that was, if that was me, like, if that, if I had that nightmare such a dream, I assume we're there, but what he means by I need to go with my dad. It means he was he used to go pick his dad up from the place he's been kept in at what? the moment. What do you mean? I have to bring him home. It's all yours, bro. I imagine we just found his car car over for Archie to borrow so they can travel to the place to bring Fred home. Yeah. How do you even have a hearse, Reggie? I was say I'm alive for two years, normal supply. Well, I owe you, Reg. Thank you. And you guys, I'm sorry for calling so late. It's really not a problem, man. I respect that. That's what he called the man then. No matter how bad things get, no matter how, what, what have you going through, they got your back. That's, I respect that. I respect that, literally. Uh, Joey and Barry were like, no, we're calm. We're going to come with you. We're, we're, we've got your back. We're, we're behind you. We're going to help bring your dad back no matter what that's incredible that's the people you want to surround yourself with people that will have your back no matter what or help you t no matter what they'll, they'll have your back through thick and thin no matter what you're going through like look your archie just looks at dad and you every they've got his back no matter what i respect that that's what you call the man right now he's, he's calling his mum who's Biggest uh, lawyer in Riverdale, and she can literally talk her way in and out anything. Man. He's probably calling his mum now to talk to the guy there and convince him to let, to let uh, Archie bring his dad back to Hello? Riverdale. Hey, Mom. Archie? Are, are you upstairs in your bedroom? No, I'm in Cherry Creek. I came out to pick up Dad. Power and before he. Uh, Archie's mother has a girl with our life. She's like... Okay, I imagine they just come to the, the site where Fred was... Um, hit while... Uh, yeah, while he pulled over. Peter? Are you Archie? How do you know my name? Your father told me. Okay, just from the looks like your father told me and how she knew they were going to bring you to think that she was there while uh, Fred uh, got hit. One of my tires blew and um, I was stranded out here. 
with the one you was helping. Yeah, as I was saying, she was the one that said helped. He pulled over and I'm assuming he got hit in the process. Everything alright, Mr. Jones? Everything's good, Red. I, uh, I heard what you and Jug and the girls were up to, and I wanted to be a part of it. I'd like to give your dad a police escort the rest of the way home, if you're okay with it. That right there, I, I respect that right there. Shout out to Mr. Jones right there. He, he, uh, he, Follow he me. deserves that kind of reception. Amazing. Literally. Like, they're giving him a hand to open it. Imagine when you're down home back to your town and everyone's there crying around, paying respect, showing respect. Just remembering what he did to Fredwells. Crazy. On the drive over here, how much of Riverdale my dad built? For if you guys didn't know, Fred Andrews was a, a builder and he built pretty much most, if not, yeah, most of Riverdale. And one day, if I'm lucky enough to have a son or a daughter of my own, I'll be able to point to a building. Or even just a brick in a building and say, Your grandpa made that. These little friends literally left behind his, um, his legacy. He's literally left behind his legacy. You can, you can remember, you can, you can never, you can always remember and uh, keep in memory. Like, you gotta cherish the time you spend with your friends, your family, your loved ones. You gotta cherish the time you spend with them. Like, you never get that, get that again. You go, you go spend your time wisely. You go, uh, literally, you get what I mean. Under April, April. 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 as if this actually was for him. The honor, Luke Perry. I'm going to get into that right now. But that was my reaction to episode 1 of season 4 and my review and my thoughts and things of the episode. My take on it. And yeah, literally. That was hard for me watching. I can't imagine how hard it was for them to to film, like, literally, throughout season one, up to season three, literally, Fred Andrews was seen as that guy that you wanted to be, he, he, he was there to help you whenever, like, he was there for you, like, whenever, he fixed up Riverdale, he, he built Riverdale, basically, like, I think he said, he was that guy, like, he, he died, um, in, 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 in the series, he died helping a stranger. Not everyone would do that, not everyone would like, like, people who drove by, he, he got down and helped a stranger, and in the process, he got hit, like, that's just, that's just her, if that doesn't cry her or anything, I don't know what does, like, that's just amazing, like, 
I like how they brought Story Kagoa uh, when um, the sheriff came in and was like, your father was struck while helping a lady. Um, I like how they brought the whole scenario, the story together, and they brought it into this episode. It's beautiful, and I like how they honoured uh, the program who's Lou Perry in this episode, and it's also the part where they gave uh, Fred the hero, her, hero's welcome, like, he deserved it, and like, it was beautiful to see, it was beautiful to see. Uh, obviously, respect to Archie, he wouldn't, like, I don't even know, like, it's hard enough losing someone so close to you, but when it's your father, like, it's something else, like, like, no one was that old, like, I think they kind of portrayed the message that you, you got, you got, uh, spend time with your loved ones, make more time for your loved ones, your family, your friends. But we take time for granted these days. We take people for people for granted. That that tomorrow we could someone could be here and they won't be here there and that's literally like what happened with Fred, uh, with Luke. He, he was there like yesterday. Now he's not here here today, like, it's crazy, it's crazy, like, even when, uh, they were talking so highly and with him, they were talking about the memories they had with him, it's, like, it's, it's beautiful, like, what more can you ask for, people have been, t were touched by his presence, what he did for them, the time they spent with him, like, this is be it's just beautiful, like, but yeah, People take we all take time for granted. I'm guilty. I'm guilty of that as well. We take time for granted sometimes, and we just gotta be more conscious of time. We gotta make more time for our loved ones and our family. Like, so someone could be here and they, they won't be here tomorrow. Like things can change within the click of a finger. Like before you know it. Like yeah. I feel I felt that kind of message come true throughout this episode. Episode one. And yeah, I like how they portrayed the story, and uh, yeah, I like how they brought the story together. And this, this episode was beautiful. Honestly, this episode was beautiful. Again, R.I.P. Luke Perry. What a guy he was. Throughout season one, season three, you could tell like. The whole Riverdale cast is like a family, like, everyone saw him as a, a father figure, like, he was there uh, for them throughout the three series, and sad to see he's not going to be there for the fourth, like, Riverdale just doesn't feel the same without him there, obviously he's going to be, his legacy is going to uh, live on forever, as uh, Archie said near the end that the funeral and yeah oh, I looked forward to episode, season 4 for so long it came and like season 1 just taken me like by storm like it fully got my emotions running people probably say you're overacting but like once you get you're attached to like a series like this and you're Engulfed with the characters, like you guys get what I mean. Like, uh, it's, it's crazy. Let them know how you felt re uh, watching this episode, episode one of season four. Let them know how you felt. Let me know your emotions in the comment section below. Let me know how you found Riverdale. Let me know your opinions in the comment section below. But yeah, um, all my social description below, my Twitter, stuff, your Instagram. I'm active on all of them. They will know first I upload a video. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Big up to Riverdale cast for honouring Luke Perry, Fred Andrews. And yeah, his legs will live on for our, for our Riverdale. But yeah. 
If you haven't subscribed, hit the bell so you can know for every time I upload. It's been my journey, and I'll see you guys next video.